If you use Facebook, chances are you were notified today at some point on your news feed if your data was actually compromised. Eight on your side looked into ways you can protect your information while using Facebook. Jana Jones joins us now. And I mean, a lot of people are asking this question. Is it even possible to protect all your information? Well, it is possible depending on who you ask. A social media expert told me if you're online, outside apps are getting your data. Facebook has done such a great job of ingraining themselves in our lives, it's almost impossible from an online perspective to eliminate it. More than 2 billion users are on Facebook, many of them around the clock. Many users got this message on their news feed this morning. It says protecting your information, but experts say you can't. Right now, with the state of the internet, the state of social media, really the only way to 100% protect yourself is to not be on the internet. Jonathan Sellers is a social media expert in Tampa. He says the internet is a necessary evil for most. There's small steps you can do to make sure the wrong people aren't getting your information. With login for Facebook, you're you're telling the you're telling Facebook and the company that you're signing up for that you're okay with giving your information to this new company. If you don't want that to happen, it's an easy fix. Settings and privacy, account settings, apps. And so if you've logged in with Facebook, these are all the apps. If I check it and remove it, it will be removed immediately. Experts say adjusting those privacy settings will make Facebook less personalized, which is why many enjoy it. Do you think less people will use Facebook because of this? Just the content you're going to see in your news feed is not going to be uh, the same. Uh, you're not going to be exposed to new stuff. It's going to become a recycled, uh, it's going to become just recycled. If you want to see more ways to adjust your privacy settings, we have a step-by-step -step for you online at WFLA.com. It's interesting, though, the way he was talking about that because, I mean, you know, fewer people might be pulling out of Facebook, changing some apps. Is he saying that Facebook could actually lose a lot of, a lot of users and maybe just go away? He said that it might change the way. It could be a little bit of time before you see it go away completely. But with more than 2 billion users, he says it's probably hard that it'll go away completely. And yeah. our viewers would be sad if they couldn't see your cow pictures. Well, there is that. And I would be, yeah, I got to put more cow pictures on, Speaking on my of, Facebook yeah. page. Speaking of, yeah. Give the people what they want. And yeah. the birthday reminders. What would we do exactly, that? I yeah. can't remember anything. <laughs> Facebook does remind you. But you trade. it's a trade off when you give up some apps and, and some private. You, they, they're not as useful anymore. No, he says that. Facebook gets a lot more boring if you do not have all those apps Working, filtered. Activated, yeah. Mm -hmm. All right. Thank, Thank you, Jana. Jana. Thanks.